Hello, Commanders. I'm Outlandish Pixel. So the beta has just dropped for 3.0, and I know what you're all thinking. What's the Chieftain like? That's the important question. The Alliance Chieftain has been designed not only to dish out punishment, but to avoid it. Manufactured by Lakorn Spaceways, the Chieftain is more maneuverable than ships of similar size and weight, and its combat profile means it can more than hold its own in a fight. The ship also boasts three internal military compartments, allowing the pilot to equip a shield cell bank, hull reinforcements, and module reinforcements. So, first of all, let's check out the Chieftain in the shipyard. Now, I will put this on the same tier as the Federal Assault Ship and the Imperial Clipper, partially because of the cost, very, very similar costs. Uh, Chieftain, just over 9 million. Um, they're very similar shields and armors. Obviously, each one has pros and cons and certain advantages. Um, but I think you're definitely looking at um, them as the best comparisons for this size of ship. Now, the outfitting. Hard points. The all-important hard points. We are two large, one medium, three small. So, considering this was supposed to be a anti-Thargoid ship, or that was how it was sold originally. It doesn't mention that in the current description of them. Um, you can only get three anti-Thargoid weapons on here. That's the... I mean, that might be an issue for some people, that might be enough for some people. Um, but that's just something to consider. Utility. We have four Okay, a reasonable amount, after getting everything A-rated. Um, top speed, 264, boost speed, 378. It's not bad. The jump distance is reasonable. Um, that's fairly reasonable, I think, for the size of ship. So, optional internals. If I was to fill every single slot, with a whole reinforcement package, we get just shy of 3,500 integrity, which isn't far off from the federal gunships' um, maximum integrity. I think that's like 3,700. So that's pretty tasty, to be honest, um, for a ship this size. Um, but I feel like. If we went full hull reinforcement, then our, our modules would start to fail pretty quickly. I do like to fly without shields. I do like playing as a stealthy pilot, um, which isn't so great against the AI, to be honest, but absolutely would need some module reinforcement as well. I'm going to go back to a shield anyway, just because this is a, a generic test, and uh, we'll see... Uh, how good we can get those. Let's get a 5A on here. And so integrity is still 3,000, which is pretty decent. Um, but we have sacrificed a lot. Um, obviously this is a full-on warship. We are not going for any other type of role here. We are going full-on warship. Um, for my utility mounts, I'm actually going to go for shield boosters. Um, I'm not going to bother scanning anyone. I just want to do some combat. So, I'll get these in here. See where our shields get up to. Um, yeah, I won't be doing any engineering. Just because I find it really tedious. And this is just a quick kind of impressions video of of the ship, how it flies. Okay, so we've got a reasonable shield strength now with the boosters on. Um, I'm not going to go for shield cell bank because I want to see how, how well my shields will last and how well my hull will do. So, I will, because I've got shields, I'm not going to have any module reinforcement. 
on there. I'm just going to leave it as is, and then we'll see how quickly it takes the modules to fail. Because it would be quite nice to know. And now I think we're ready. I'm going to go and find some trouble. Okay, I'm at a hazardous uh, resource extraction site. I'm going to look for some trouble. Let's see how well this ship performs. It feels pretty fast, I'll be honest. For a ship this size, it feels very maneuverable. I'm changing direction fairly swiftly. I'm able to boot. I'm going to hit this asteroid. Oh dear. Oh no, I'm good. I'm able to boost around the asteroids fairly well, actually. Just surprising. I did not expect that. Right. Let's do some combat then. Tom Pritchard. You are wanted. So I'm going to keep my power distributed evenly. I'm going to start attacking. Now I'm able to turn and keep uh, keep my view on him fairly easily there. But I wasn't moving that fast to be fair. And the Vulture, also a fairly manoeuvrable heavy fighter, but I mean he's just running away from me at the minute. He's not being very aggressive, actually, this ship. Now, I'm flying with Flight Assist on. Recently, I've been playing with it off, just for the challenge. And I'll try that in a bit, just to see how, how well that goes. Now you're being aggressive. Temperature-wise, fairly reasonable. Fairly reasonable kind of temperature being generated at the minute. Again, I could just pivot and like keep him in sight quite easily. So this is a deadly ship, so a pretty decent opponent by the AI standards. All I'm doing at the minute is keeping my keeping my um when I turn, I'm putting full pips to engines. Keeping my speed in the blue, the optimum speed to turn, and it feels really comfortable. He's going to take my shields down soon, though, if I don't look after those a bit better. I didn't want to go for chaff because I wanted to see how how well sh the ship would do generally for being hit. I want to get hit, you know. I want to. I want to see how uh, now my shields are offline. I want to see how my modules perform when they get hit. Now I want to try um, the evasive, evasive tactics just to avoid getting hit. Really, see if I can stay behind him. Classic bit of headbutting at the end to finish him off. Um, so for a fairly maneuverable opponent. I thought that fight went okay. It was a deadly ship as well. There is a gunship here. I do want to try uh, attacking this fella. See how this goes. He's in the middle of a fight at the minute. Although I pretty much have no shields. But that's fine. I'd like to see how manoeuvrable I am around him. See if I can stay behind him and just avoid getting hit. Has he got a posse with him? <laughs> he doesn't say he's in a wing, but it's like he's in a posse. Are these guys in a wing? They're all just solo ships. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with you. Uh, deadly again. I'm going to try and stay behind them as much as I can. Just popping the shield cell. Let's go back and get a line on me. Ooh, boost out of the way. Now, I mean, the gunship isn't particularly maneuverable, to be fair. 
don't want him to get the distance on me. I want to try and close that as much as I can. Because he's getting an angle on me now. Oh dear. Let's try and hide here for a second. Keep the rock between us. Shields are back. Aha! Surprise! And they're back offline. Let's try and take. Took quite a bit of internal damage then. So I'm going to try and get some. Objects in the way. It's not good. Hide and seek it is. And we're back in it. And we're back out of it. And the canopy's going. Canopy is probably... Oh dear! Canopy is probably uh, an easy target. <laughs> Based on its position. So, that didn't go so well. <laughs> the issue is... The AI had engineered weapons and it just did like module damage almost instantly since my shields are down and my shield recharge rate is pretty pathetic. Remember this is unengineered though. Um and it, it just couldn't get to a point it just couldn't get to a point where um I could get them to a high enough level to be able to actually do anything in combat so I'm gonna change the way I do things slightly I'm gonna add a shield cell bank get some module uh, reinforcement and hopefully that will fix things up a bit and we might be a bit more efficient in combat I mean I want to try to ship in other uses as well but, you know, this is advertised as a combat ship, so we need to find a way of it actually being good in combat. I'm loving the maneuverability, though. I'm loving um, how, how well I can pivot and keep my eyes on uh, the enemy. Uh, even when flying against the smaller, faster ships, it does a pretty decent job. Right, let's try out a different loadout. I'm going to swap out this shield generator, go for a 5C bi-weave. Let's get that in place. Uh, I'm also going to go for a shield cell bank as well. I think we'll go for size 4. Shield cells. Let us go. We'll just go for 4A. In fact, tell a lie. Let's, uh, let's back up. Let's back up a second. I'm actually going to go for... We're going to try and focus on getting the shields to stay up. So I'm going to go for a 5A. I mean, what is the... The difference is... Is not... Significant, actually, is it? I mean, you got the. Don't even have more ammo. No, I'm gonna keep it four A. Eh? Let's keep it four A. Eh, actually, I'm not a. Sh I'll, <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm not a shield cell bank user really, because I don't normally fly with shields. But let's do this. We'll do that. We'll keep a five D hull. Um. And we are going to whack some, let's get some uh, module reinforcements 
So, integrity's down to 2,000, but I think that's okay. I think that's sufficient because we are not relying on the hull as much. And I want to make sure nothing is failing on us. And we will we'll go with that. I'm going to return and see how well we do in combat this time. I'm hoping the trade-off for getting a bi-weave will um, be worth it. But we will see. There's a conda. Try taking on a conda. That's quite a name. I mean, we've got distractions here and we've got help, so this isn't a real, really a great test of what we can do. Nah. At least we'll get the bounty, I suppose. Well, it's not dead yet. <laughs> there we go. Now, this guy's wanted. Take on a, an elite python to see, see how that goes, eh? Circling slowly. Maneuverability on a python, not amazing. Not my favourite ship because of it. I'll be honest. Not a massive fan of it. Well, I love the way it looks and everything. Don't get me wrong. Just... I like it's a practical ship. Like, it's great. But I just... way Bloody thermal attacks. Um, but I just don't enjoy flying it. Like, it's great for getting things done. But it's not, you know... Just, I just don't enjoy flying it, personally. This is obviously... Um, my preference, flying like this. The flight assist off. I've kind of started getting used to it. It's not um, necessarily ideal at all times. I know a lot of people like the combination of flight assist on and off and you know in the past that's how I've flown as well oh dear that was a good hit might have to uh, get some distance between us briefly so it was never going to be super easy I don't know if we've got help now. I don't know what this other ship's doing. We want to try and avoid those uh, plasma accelerators. The AI seems really good at aiming with them, but this guy is elite, to be fair. Not judging my uh, engine distribution correctly. It's hammering down for a boost there. So maybe going back to a 5A shield would be the best idea. Because I've had to go through quite a few shield cells to manage this. I'm trying to keep the pressure on so we get shields down at least. There we go. Now we're in the same position at least. Oh, we got help now. I didn't want help. <laughs> now he got a shot off on us. But his hull is crippled. That is kind of annoying that you guys joined in. <laughs> Why did you choose that moment to join in? <laughs> oh well. Might be able to uh, achieve it on my own. But hey, we only took 2% hull damage there though, so that's something, eh? I'm just floating around, I need to get behind him. Boost back behind him. Oh dear! Oof. I'm sure if that hit or not there. 
Whee! Yeah, and the missiles are on their way. Just try and get some distance. Get behind. Get behind here in time. I do not know if we got hit or not. There we go, back in the fight. Oh, back to the old malfunctioning pulse laser. Good to know. Well, even Steven now, mate. Oh dear. It's fine. It's about to die. It's all good. Right. Better be careful not to uh, aim at a friendly ship whilst that's mal malfunctioning. That wouldn't be very uh, useful. We've got a drop ship we could go for. Now, I've not been targeting any sub-targets, because recently I've been doing it, and most ships I've been attacking, like, it hasn't affected them at all, like, I've done no module damage. So I kind of don't bother anymore, but I will do it for this one. And this guy's almost dead, but he's not been much of a threat, really. Not been much of a threat, I mean, the dropship isn't. But you notice I did nothing to his power plant, really. I think I did like 20% damage. Like, it's why at the minute I don't even bother, because I end up destroying the hull before I do any real damage to a module. Uh, that might be why. Module reinforcement package has been destroyed. This, I don't know, something feels different. I don't know if it's, if it's the beta or the ship, but modules are getting destroyed and getting damaged a lot quicker than what I'm used to. Let's just chase around uh, an eagle, Imperial Eagle, and just see how well we do keeping it in our sights. I mean, he won't survive that long, but... I'll let him get away, I'll try and get away. See if he can shake me. He's not really trying, I suppose. Nah, he would have definitely been dead by now. I mean, he could still outrun me, to be fair. He's not trying hard enough. He's only competent, to be fair, as well. There we go. <laughs> well, that's going to get boring after a while. Full on malfunctions across all our weapons now. <laughs> yep, if you could all repair yourself, that would be super. There we go. Okay, well, I think that's a good indication of what to expect with the ship when flying solo against these types of enemies. It is like a beautiful looking ship. I really do like the way it looks. I'm going to be doing a little bit more in the beta just to see how it feels in other, other configurations. But yeah, I think I the best thing about it for me is how maneuverable it is. Like it's not the fastest ship in the world, no, but it turns beautifully. It really does for this size of ship. The fact that it can kind of keep up the smaller ships as well is just music to my ears, really, because I'm much more of a fan of the smaller ships, personally. But yeah, what do you guys think of the ship, if you've had a chance to try it yet? Do you get as many malfunctions as me? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll do another video soon. Until then, Commanders, I'll see you in the black.